Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you this morning. Uh, today is August 15th. The San Francisco 49ers are going to be kicking off uh, their season against the Houston Texans um, at 5 p.m. This is going to be the first preseason game of the day. I have to attend a, a wedding today, so uh, I'm not sure when this is going to be over with the uh, post-wedding festivities. But uh, honestly, when it comes down to it, for preseason football, especially the first game of the season... You only need to see six plays, three plays of the offense, three plays of the defense. And then unless you're the biggest football fan of all time, uh, preseason football is not really needed uh, to be like a, a big, huge uh, you know, fan of your team. This year is going to be rough enough as it is. I don't need to be watching, you know, uh, four quarters of uh, preseason football of guys that are more than likely not even going to be on the team by next week or not even be on uh, the team by, uh, you know, the uh, opening of the season. If you, if you want to watch good football, um, you go back and, and it was great when the Raiders and the, uh, uh, the Niners would play in the preseason, especially if it was in like game three or game four of the, of the, uh, of the uh, preseason, and you would really see guys out there fighting for jobs in the third and the fourth quarter, trying to you know hang on as the last wide receiver. Um, these were guys that would go out and uh, really uh, try their best to make plays and uh, really be getting it done uh, for the offense. You know, and, um, you know they're, they're going to go out there uh, most of the time. It's, it's three and out for Kaepernick and uh, you know Hyde and, and Kendall Hunter. Anybody that really matters is not going to be playing a lot in this game. Um, I'm hoping that the Niners can win because we're not going to get that many wins this this season. Um, the, the team, I, I took a shot at Eric Reed uh, for saying that he looked around the locker room and saw that this team has a whole bunch of talent and uh, basically, you know, they could make a run at the Super Bowl. Uh, that was before uh, the arrest and, and the release um, and just the, all the bad publicity to, to cap off the whole offseason, which was a terrible uh, run for the 49ers. I don't know. We still have Colin Kaepernick under center. Um, if he goes down due to injury, um, we're really screwed uh, with only having Blaine Gabbert and Dylan Thompson behind him. Um, Carlos Hyde's going to be taking the number one slot at running back this year with Kendall Hunter behind him. Um, lots of people talk about Reggie Bush being on the team. I think that Reggie Bush is just going to be on the team. Maybe one, uh, maybe like one game. He might go off for a few yards here or there, but uh, I, I don't see him being a game decider um, week in and week out for the 49ers. I, I think you're lucky if maybe he makes a play uh, and you know picks up three or four yards, and that's really all I'll be looking forward to out of Reggie Bush. When you look at the wide receiver core for the 49ers this year, uh, led by uh, Quinton Patton, Antoine Bolden, and Torrey Smith, it, it's a good squad of guys at wide receiver. I know it's not what we had last year. I hated to see Crabtree leave, especially go to Oakland, uh, where I know that he's going to have a good year this year. But um, I don't know. I mean, we had great wide receivers last year, like I said. The main problem was getting them the ball. And um, I don't know. Colin Kaepernick um, has not been the best at spreading the ball around. I don't know if it's the offensive line, not having time, Kaepernick's mechanics. But uh, I think even last year, we could have the best wide receivers in the world out there, and uh, we'd still be having trouble. At tight end, we got Vernon Davis, and we have uh, Bruce Miller, uh, so we should be set there, but the problem is mainly just getting them the ball. Um, Eric Armistead is going to be a great uh, add to the team, a defensive tackle. Uh, we still have Glenn Dorsey, who didn't get to play a lot last year, um, so the line should be set on defense. Uh, linebackers cores, I, I I mean, this will be the return of Bowman. We still have Brooks. Um, you know that this is the Niners. The so one thing they do right is draft linebackers. So there'll probably be some guy on that list that we don't even know who he is right now. And by the end of the season, he'll be making plays and being one of the uh, the best we got. But uh, it's going to be great to see uh, Reed and Ward in the backfield. Um, I'm not looking for a lot from this Niner team. I don't even think we're going to win a lot this year. I know that we're going to be the league's punching bag. There's a lot of great teams in the West. Um, the Rams have made improvements. They've got a new quarterback. The Seahawks, um, they've lost a little bit on their offensive line, but uh, the, the whole rest of the team still looks as stacked as it always was. And you know that the Cardinals are going to be hungry. They got a taste of the playoffs last year, and they're going to be coming for it. So I'm hoping the Niners can beat the Texans, uh, but I'm not 100% about it.